Good evening, welcome to the Chatback Show on Tuesday the 28th of April 2015. My name's Anika and this evening's chat is about Ancestry DNA test kits. Now, I've just received mine, having been curious for many years now as to um, what I'm made of. What is flowing through my blood? What ancestry information I can find out? Um, just basically curious.com. And I've finally gone and got myself a kit. As you can see right here is my ancestry kit. And um, yeah, I'm going to do it in the morning. Um, I think that's the best result or that's the best time to do it in the morning when I'm fresh, freshly awake and send it off to get tested in the lab. I've been reading a lot of reviews and obviously there's been a, a lot of mixed reviews, a lot of people expecting the results to, I don't know, magically help them find who they're related to, etc. And actually, it's not going to do that. It can only provide the information it provides. And the rest is a mystery. And I suppose for you, if you want to know more, to go out and do your research. Now, for me, on my mum's side, um, supposedly, uh, on my mum's side, my nan, she was mixed race. And um, her dad was... Caucasian Jewish so I'm curious to know if there's any information or anything showing in my bloodline of that um, even further on her mum's side um, my dad's side I believe is Nigerian um, but people always say I look like something not something, I look like other ethnicities, you know, I've had Somalian, Ethiopian, um, Brazilian, a lot of different, um, a lot of different I'm going, sorry the brain's gone a bit numb, yeah a lot of different um, ethnicities people ask me so yeah that's another reason why I'm curious just to see like I said what I'm made of so I'm um, curious.com to see what my results will be aha uh -huh, that rhymes so um yeah chat back and let me know your view have you done one of these tests did it surprise you or was you not impressed um, are you a bit sceptical, you don't really believe these sort of DNA testing things? Or are you more concerned about what your saliva will be used and how it will be discarded of, etc. For me, I'm a open book and I hope that obviously once they finish doing the testing they will discard of my saliva in the proper way. Um, yeah. But I suppose that's the that's the risk I'll have to take. And um yeah, I'm curious to know. So chat back and let me know what your view is. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've had a lovely day and it's still bright outside. And tune in again soon. Take care. Bye.